Welcome to another quick tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're talking about how to quickly uh, export multiple clips. So um, I have a timeline here set up, and I've got all these. I've already edited it. I've made all these little cuts in here, and I have all these different clips. So if I highlighted these, and I go to File Project Manager, and drag this over. Um, the first thing we're going to start with is at the top here. We're going to make sure that that sequence that I'm working in is selected, which is my final, and that that is indeed where we're where we're working. We're going to want to make sure consolidate and time code is uh, and transcode is selected. Sources individual clips. If you wanted to change your format, you can. I'm going to leave it as QuickTime and uh, at match source Apple ProRes. And then the other thing we want to check is make sure that include handles is unselected. Um, if you select this option, it's going to leave this whatever number of frames you select in the beginning and at the end of your video clip. So it's best to uh, make sure that that is unselected. And then all we got to do is create a destination path. So I'll just leave it in my render folder here. And we just click OK and it's going to go ahead and transcode the media. Now the thing to keep in mind is it's not going to include um, any of your effects. So it's just going to uh, simply consolidate and transcode and now you can work with these individual individually but you're not going to have the ability to work with them um, with the effects that you've applied. So uh, keep that in mind. And here I have in this folder all of my exported clips. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, while I did select and highlight certain clips, it's it's actually exporting. It's actually going to export every single um, clip that you made. Um, so now we have all of these clips cut into little small pieces. So now you can work with these again if you were going to work and and make maybe like a social media clip or something like that. So anyway, this has been a quick uh, Premiere Pro tutorial. Thanks for watching.